actually not that cold. my shoes on i'm gonna drive myself to where i'll be doing my long run today all right we've arrived i'm doing the lake and i'm gonna do it twice but i'm gonna take the shorter like there's a cutoff point or like a little shortcut two laps i think that'll be around eight miles i do not have my airpods i think i'm just gonna try and do this without any music long runs without music are actually sometimes okay doable i purposely left my airpods at home but then once i got into my car and started playing music on my drive here i was like wait Music seems like it would be kind of fun. I'm just gonna try to take it all in, you know, enjoy my solitude, really tune in to my run. We're starting this at just about 8 a.m. Hopefully we can be done in like an hour or half-ish. This is my favorite little spot to warm up. There's a bench right here and a little concrete platform. Where I turn in. We are flying down this hill. <laughs> Quite empty today. I saved myself from having to run all of that. Okay, pro tip if you're doing your long run, make sure you do your business beforehand because you might have to stop halfway. may have a little panic attack. Oh my God, I need to find a bathroom. <laughs> now after going through my options, I figured that the only place that would be open, clean, and available for me to use at this hour would be the golf course. So luckily I'm coming up on the entrance here. We're into the clubhouse. Hopefully they let me use it. If not, I think I'm screwed because the only porta potties are at least a mile away. Here we are. Open daily to the public. Let's see if they're right about that. Ah, yes. Yes. Thank God. Oh my God. This run has been so chaotic so far. I literally just passed my car as I finished my first round, my first lap. And I had the door open. I was gonna sip some water. And then I see a bee just like lingering around my open car door coming close for me as I'm sitting inside my car. So I get out and I'm trying to like close my door so it doesn't get stuck in there. And then it starts attacking me and chasing me. Oh, oh my gosh. Didn't get to drink water and didn't get to strip this layer off. I didn't need it, it's fine. Oh, all right, I finished my run. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I think the last, the last corner that I had to turn, I was like, oh my God. My hair is a rat's nest though. It's very tangled. Keeping it in a braid while I run definitely helps a lot because it would be way more of a frizz ball if I didn't braid it. Ended up running just about, just over eight miles, 8.24. Before going home, I'm going to quickly walk around the farmer's market that's happening. I just wanna see what's there. Figured, why not? I could treat myself to a little sweet treat after that little run, but yay. My first official weekend long run of this training sesh or training period, marathon training, because that's what we're doing. I don't know if I mentioned that. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna go check out this farmer's market. Oh, running to make this light, ah, even though my legs feel like jello. Pastries, oh, okay, so I think this side is all food. There is an Aussie truck there. Tempting, get these pastries, oh my God, those donuts. That looks so freaking good. It feels so dense too. I have been craving a donut for so long, but for some reason I have never gotten one for myself. So 
here we go. I think their donut shop is in Vacaville, which is like pretty far from here, but they're one of the vendors at the Sunset Market. Mm. With my Americano, oh, I'm in heaven. I think this might have to be a thing. You know, weekend, long run, followed by a little farmer's market. Support the local shops. I got a classic chocolate sprinkle. They had this other Mexican hot chocolate donut, but it was vegan. I might have to try that next time. I just knew I wanted something. Pure chocolate donut. Mm. This one was definitely calling my name though. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. That does look like a good one. But not too much yellow. Forty dollars for grapes? Are you joking? Well, maybe I should get some fruit. Spotted a wild mama. Just getting some fruit. This is what we came for. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. If you ever want to have a little sashimi party at home. This is a good option. Mission H Mart accomplished. Picked up these little rice cakes for Chusuk. Korean Thanksgiving. And yakwa. Yakwa is one of my boyfriend's favorite little sneaky snacks. One in the car because why not? I picked up some fruit for the week. I feel like if you buy fruits at Costco, it's just too much of one kind. So I feel like I just need to go into the grocery store or at the farmer's market. I should have got fruit at the farmer's market, but just get like way cheaper to do it this way mm. or Costco. I know, but then apple, it, you can, you can, you can keep it a long time. I think they have mm. different things inside. This is the oh, that's the one. Sesame. Mm. Yeah, this one has like it's like egg. No, that's a that's a bean too. Different bean. Mm. Oh yeah, this one's good. Yeah, that's sweeter. sesame. My head money would always bring these back home from the temple. That's how I remember them. Nothing better than a full shower, clean hair after a long run. I've been holding out on washing my hair because I knew. Obviously, that I was gonna be doing this. We're home from the range, the market. I feel like I have to show you guys my, my new pajama shirt because it's simply the best thing ever. How cute. My mom and I are gonna have some sashimi, some sake. Niners are playing because it is football Sunday. Arizona Cardinals, eh? Oh, oh, we're up. We're winning. $60 for yeah. everything? Yeah. No, this, this is like 43 and then this is like. 15 bucks, mm -hmm. like a 16 bucks. Yeah, the restaurant, this would be Shit. money. Just two pieces, <gasps> eight, 10 bucks. True. Wow. You can bring in a mix. Happy Chusa. Happy Chusa. <laughs> Look at the baby jalapeno. We're switching gears. The sake was good. Mm -hmm. Sake was good. But I bought some calpico. Calpico? I wanted to mix this with soju because I feel like it would just be a nice little concoction. Jilo, oh, Jillo is bad. I see. So people say is bad, is bad. And then we're gonna mix it with a little bit of. Is that kind of very sweet? Huh? It's lemony. This might be good. I don't taste the soju, <laughs> which is good. Very sugary. So. <laughs> Be careful with that. So, update. The Niners have won 35 to 16, I wanna say. Go Niners. But my friend and I, we have last minute decided to go to Portola Music Festival. Ah! So it's happening. It, well, it's been happening. It's Saturday, Sunday. It is now Sunday. Sunday at 5 p.m., might I add. I literally posted on my Instagram. I'd be down to see Skrillex at Portola Fest. And she replied and she was like, same? We got the details together, snagged tickets, and now we're going. Very simple.
morning, y'all. Oh my gosh, that was like the best last minute decision I've made in a long time. I usually am very skeptical about buying secondhand tickets or like second, secondhand resale tickets. There's a lot of scammers out there. You definitely have to put your trust into whoever's selling you a concert ticket, festival ticket, whatever. I had some of my friends help me out. So my friend Gabby and I, we ended up going to Portola Festival. I thought that a hundred, $125 was pretty expensive for just one day, but actually we saved a lot by just buying them last minute because a two-day pass to the festival was, I'm pretty sure, well over $300. So not complaining and Skrillex's set was so fun. Very hardcore, head banging, but also very melodic and just a lot of the songs I love to work out to. So that's why I love a lot of EM and DJs because that's literally the stuff that I run to and live to and to hear it live in a crowd. It's just, it's a fun time. Skrillex was one of those artists that I've always wanted to see and actually wait I have seen him before. Oh I have and it was a fun set but this was even better because it was at nighttime and the lasers went freaking crazy. Just taking a little break from editing working on a video. I'm so excited to work out today so that I can listen to some more Skrillex. So I'm gonna take a rest from running because yesterday was my long run and I was on my feet all night. Definitely will make it to the gym at some point today, but I am gonna be working here for now. Just wanted to check in. Happy Monday. Oh my gosh, I have been slaving away on this video and my mom came through with a little lunch. So we have two onigiris, which she makes at home. One is spicy tuna, and then I think the other one is just regular tuna. And then this is kimchi pancake. I'm starting to get really hungry too. Almost, it's already 2 p.m. Perfectly crispy. I am now a pro at opening these. You have to peel According to the numbers, so number one, number two, this side, number three. You might be wondering what's the point of having the plastic if you're gonna eat it right away? Well, it keeps it so that the rice does not touch the seaweed until you take the plastic out and that way the seaweed doesn't get all soggy. Oh, the autofocus on this camera. Go off autofocus, okay. All right, y'all, I kept my word. We did make it to the gym, but not till literally 7 p.m. That's all right. It was very crowded. So for today's upper body workout, I just stuck to minimal equipment, my bench, some dumbbells. So this is a great one if you just want to clean your corner and get a little upper body pump. After warming up, I'm going right into dumbbell bench press. With each set, I went up in weight and decreased my reps. Then I'm doing seated military press. A bench press and a shoulder press variation are staples for my push days. Next, I'm doing a super set with a lighter pair of dumbbells. I set up my bench at a slight incline and I'm doing dumbbell incline flies, doing about 10 reps and then immediately going into close grip press. So repping out 12, 15 reps. These really freaking burn the triceps. Next super set, I have my bench back in a flat position. I'm doing dumbbell skull crushers followed by lateral raises. I went back and forth between those two exercises for three sets. I know it's a push day, but I just had to throw in some bicep curls because why not? And yeah, it was crowded, but we got it done. Hydrating because I have a track workout today. Lesson learned from my long run on Sunday. Make sure I go to the bathroom before I start my run because I do not want to have to deal with having to stop, find a public restroom. It's not fun. Maybe the water will get it going. If I really need to, I might have to have a coffee beforehand. Usually I like to save my coffee for after, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It's about 8.20 right now. I do need to leave the house or I, I have to move my car before nine because we have street cleaning. There's no rush for me to get my run done, but I need to drive to the track. So it, it just works out. I haven't done a track workout in a while and I don't have experience in putting together track workouts besides when I bring my weights and then I do like a circuit and then run a lap and then a circuit and run a lap, something like that. But today I have an actual tempo run written out. And this is just from a training plan that I found online that I've been tweaking, I'm following this plan very loosely. But the tempo runs that they have set out, I'm just keeping because they look pretty good to me. Today I'm doing five miles, starting with a one mile warm up jog, so 1600 meters. Then I'm going into a mile and a half tempo run. That's six laps around the track. 
six laps and then one lap recovery jog and then repeat that and one mile jog to finish it doesn't sound too bad i don't know how much i will end up filming because i'm gonna try to just be very minimal like i'm not gonna bring a bag or anything i'm just gonna carry my or use my spy belt to carry my phone my car key i just get scared of bringing my bag and my camera and my tripod and all that and then me running away from my bag you never know someone could just snatch it i would hope that people wouldn't do that but you just cannot trust people you just never know, so better safe than sorry. Mission accomplished. That was actually a really, really solid workout. The thought of running around a track over and over and over and over. I don't even know how many laps I did. Hold on, let me think. Six, ten. 11 20 plus laps i'm pretty sure it took me just about 50 minutes or so to finish everything yeah it was nice beautiful day sunny running in circles it doesn't it's not as terrible as you may think oh <gasps> my mom's friend gave her these croissants yesterday and they're from this place called arsicult which i've had before once and it was so good like it's one of the best croissant places in san francisco there's usually always a line but for good reason i'm gonna have this with my coffee, protein shake. I'll probably do some eggs on the side too. Double espresso shot going here. Oh no, I'm running out. My favorite protein powder. Brown sugar oatmeal from Beam. Scoop of that. That was like a three, four scoop. We'll do a little more. Okay, about that much in the shaker cup. Get that all mixed up, all frothy. And then we add that to our coffee. Coming right up, we got two eggs. That's gorgeous. Doing some editing right now. I just made myself a green smoothie using my pina colada greens from Beam. I haven't made this in a while, but oh my gosh, it's hitting. Good morning. I'm currently on an easy five mile run. I'm like halfway through, but I'll be completely honest, does not feel easy at all. And I'm going much slower to keep my heart rate up. I don't know, I find these ones to be so much tougher. Also, I feel like the exertion from yesterday's workout kind of took me out a little. So I'm not feeling this fresh. We're making our way through GGP. I'm gonna turn my ass back home, come back, and we have a lifting session today. I spy a rainbow. Oh, that's pretty. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Guys, it is close to 70 degrees right now, and it's like 9 a.m. This is not an everyday occurrence, so I'm taking advantage. But also, it getting warm like this makes me miss those brisk morning runs. I have a lot of those to look forward to this year. Oh my god, can this be over? I'm here to tell you that not every run is gonna be great. Shoot, I would say only like 20 to 30 percent of my runs are really good and really solid. The rest are just okay or hard as hell. Oh. Was it recorded when I unveiled my sandwich? So here it is. I had a severe craving for a sandwich because I was editing a video and I saw myself eating a Dutch crunch sandwich. So that just sent me into hungry mode. This is technically part two of lunch because I had a big kale salad earlier, fruit, had a whole breakfast, it's like that weird in between lunch and dinner time and I just, I got hungry again, so. Cheers. Sparkling water, because I want something carbonated. Hello, good morning. Oh my God, not me literally saying good morning when it's 7 p.m. It is not the morning, it is 7 p.m. And I'm about to go to the gym. Again, we pushed off the gym to very late hours, which means it's probably gonna be busy. But I'm hoping that people are choosing to spend their day outside of the gym because it's really warm in the city. Hopefully everyone's outside enjoying this little heat wave that we're having. Literally took the fattest nap after having that sandwich. I feel like the chips plus the sandwich combo, it was a lot of sodium. I mustered up the energy to go to the gym. We're gonna hit some legs because I did wanna get a strength session in today. I took a shower midday and I completely changed into a new outfit. So it, it basically feels like a morning. So I wasn't wrong earlier. Good morning, kind of. Definitely gonna have to shower again because I'm already sweating. <laughs> Anywho, I haven't worn my over the ear headphones in a while. So kind of excited to use them again. We're hitting legs. 
So that should be fun. And indeed, it was a fun, solid, effective, quick leg day. We are unfortunately nearing the end of this video, so I'm just gonna share with y'all the leg workout that I did, but also explain how I'm approaching both running and lifting. My running training plan has me running, I would say five days out of the week. Mileage this week was somewhere in the high 20s. Made it a point to get to the gym at least three times a week, a leg day, a push, and a pull day. If I can get to the gym another day, then that's great. I'd probably opt for a full body day or do more functional plyometric athletic type of training but yeah that's kind of how my weeks have been looking like so far i feel like already having that consistency in my strength training has really helped me in my running and so i just want to keep that going there are so many factors that contribute to your running your cardio or your heart health what your thoughts are mentally how you can go about a run and last but not least physically your body your muscles how are they able to endure longer runs so maintaining the muscle also building muscle is going to be important for me because if there's a point in my run where like i literally can't breathe or i think i can't do it i'm gonna have to rely on my body to physically be able to get me through it or vice versa maybe my body will get out but my mind will carry me through because my mind is very strong i will definitely talk more about this in future videos but yeah this was just a little glimpse of how i've been balancing everything and really kicking off this marathon training season i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys so so much for watching that is it for this video i will see you guys in the next one